Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here. Um, this is the video that I said I was going to do yesterday on Junk Journal Junkies. Um, the, or Junk Journal Canada. Sorry, I had to think about that. Um, so this is some of the altered uh, flashcards and such that I have made. And I'm just going to move everything out of the way. My camera is set up a little bit differently. So if I seem like I'm fumbling around, that is why. I'm, I want to find a setup that I can kind of craft with you guys with. So I'm just kind of experimenting. But I'll get started. So um, what I've been doing lately is going through photos that I have printed that I want to put in journals. And I have years and years worth. And I printed them in 3x4s, a lot of them. Not all of them. But they were sitting in envelopes, making it very difficult to use them because um, they were just, they were sorted in categories, but it wasn't a quick process to try and find a certain photo. So I started putting them in photo albums and then I got to uh, this particular batch, which is three by fours of things I've printed of different digi kits, smaller and all digital items that are smaller, digi, digi ephemera kits and things like that. So this particular batch that I'm showing you is using Amy Joy's um, digitals. There's multiple digital kits that I've used and I've taken her full size pages and I've shrunk, shrunk them down to three by four pictures and then got them developed at Walmart so they're a nice quality and um, they are backed on something other than the coffee dyed paper to protect them and then they're so into coffee dyed paper. But anyways, so all that to just to say let's get started. Um, so this one is just my thought with this sorry there is glare because they are real pictures um, was I can put it in a journal and just fold it up like this and then or well and then I could just open I can even you know tuck it well no I couldn't because it's backwards but I could just tuck it into a pocket I was gonna say I can tuck it over a page but I didn't do the pictures right for that or the other thing I had thought about was just adding it a paper clip in the center here and then tacking it on a page for extra journaling because the back as you can see is coffee dyed ledger and like I said they are backed onto um flashcards because I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with them and because I didn't want to do it directly onto the coffee dyed paper and then I just sewed around it with some pink thread so there's that piece and there's this piece this is beet dyed paper. These ones are different. So one wheat. Um, this is one. So go ahead and check out her shop if you have never been there. Um, this is uh, scrapbook paper scrap. This one will get turned into a pocket so there's nothing on the back of it. I'll just use this as ephemera. Probably not with this kit. Uh, journal kit, but I don't know. I do have it all printed. Well, I have both of these kits printed. Um, these stickers are from AliExpress. I love them. So I added them to the back of the beet dyed paper. This one I just rounded the corners on. Another sticker on the back with coffee dyed paper. And sometimes I use the flashcards in my journals just to write on if they're not, you know, if I can write on the surface if they're not a glossy surface um, because the images match whatever I'm doing. But sometimes you have those flashcards that are just not useful for anything. Um, so uh, as far as image wise goes, but they are useful to back to make your um, thin papers thick to make journaling cards. And these are quite thick. They're actually quick, thicker than I'd like, but um, this one I collaged. Pictures are thick and game cards are thick, so I couldn't really get away from that. So I love how these turned out. They're super easy to make. This one um, I left because you can write on this and I don't know what journal I'm putting it in so I figured maybe I'd just put that in the journal like this. This one is another fun one. Oops. 
So this is part of the card, but I just left it because I thought it kind of added to it. And then it opens up completely for more pictures or journaling. And then I can just tuck that in a pocket or clip it on or do whatever. Um, this one. I don't work with, oh, this one has fancy stitching on it as well. It's not picking up super well. It's for uh, a floral stitch. Um, and I left the, the vintage, I believe they are vintage, but that's not what I was trying to say. I left the, the cards, like flashcards, white because I like the way it looked. Normally I do everything vintage. See, this is what kind of cards they were. Uh, alphabet cards. Um, normally I vintage everything up, but I'm very ready to work with some bright colors. So maybe that's why I like the white. I do like this image. It's probably my favorite with the hummingbird. There's nothing on the back. And you can see the card a little bit on the back through it, but once you write on it or add a picture, you're not going to see that. So I don't worry about that. And then there's this one. Oh, sorry. Um, and it's just dyed paper. So this again was all kind of stuff I just had sitting that needed to be used. So that is what I've been working on. I am going to be printing some more digitals. Not because I need more, but I have a 300. My, my instant ink program is for 300 pages a month. So even if I don't use them, I like to print them because I don't like paying for something I'm not using. Um, even if I don't use them right away. So this was just a fun idea I had with uh, another playing card. These are the cutoffs of the flashcards. So I just covered them with coffee dyed paper, a stamped image I did the other day at my mom's on some scraps. And then I added this, which is a uh, vintage lace that was sewn together. This was actually not sitting on my table. The lace was where it was supposed to be. Um, but anyways, <laughs> and then there's that. Uh, not that I mind, you know, using things where they're supposed to be. It's just, I, a lot of this stuff I was kind of cleaning up around my table area. So, um, these are just the little ones that aren't attached to anything yet. Oops. And I sewed around them in pink thread and added eyelets. I don't normally add little takes to my journals, but they're so cute. And, um, I had the cutoffs, so why not? I can write a date on it or whatever, and then, you know, attach it to the page. And, um, you know, it can be cute and useful. Like with this one, you know, I can just tuck this in a pocket and then the lace is totally decorative, obviously. I can write whatever I want on here. I can even add pictures on here. It is coffee dyed. I add pictures um, to coffee dyed paper anyways, because um, really they're digital. I can go print off more if, you know, in 10 years it wrecks my pictures. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about enjoying what I'm doing, not preserving every single memory um, I make for a lifetime. So that is that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think of these. I will be doing some more ephemera and things like that. I have some journals I really need to bind. I hate binding journals, but my wax linen or wax thread came in, so I do need to get that done. Thank you for watching.